Hey everybody. In this video I'm going to show you how to replace the cooling fan in a compact Presario C700. This is an older compact Presario C700 that has had a lot of use and the fan has started to develop a noise. So that means it's time to go ahead and get it replaced. This computer was already in for service and um, I was reinstalling windows on it and I happened to notice this noise. So I'm going to go ahead and get that replaced. And I'll also be adding some memory to this computer too. So the first thing you want to do is turn the computer upside down, remove the battery, which I've already done, and remove the cover that's over the system memory. Now I'm going to remove all the screws on the bottom of this machine. I'll go ahead and uninstall the hard drive while we're at it too. Because I believe this repair will require removing the motherboard to get to the CPU core. Set the door to the side and the hard drive itself just pulls out. Okay, we're going to continue removing screws. And be sure to group your screws in certain spots so that way you can keep track of them. And try to remember where they go because there's different sizes for different spots on the computer. And of course, before I continue on, it does help to have your screwdriver magnetized so that way it pulls the screws out of the holes. Makes things a whole lot easier. Okay, this screw right here will remove the optical drive. Mm -hmm. Now this drive should pull right out. Set to the side. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is remove the memory. which I have another video that I'll be posting about this machine because this computer comes with an extremely low amount of memory considering it comes shipped with Windows Vista. Memory is easy to pull out. All you, all you gotta do is pull these two tabs and the stick just slides up and you pull it out. Now, this right here is the Wi-Fi card, or wireless card. What I'm going to do is go ahead and take a picture of this so I remember exactly how it goes back in. This way I want to put this computer back together. Um, I don't know exactly how it goes. Okay, we're going to pull these wires loose. They just pop loose. But be careful because they're really tiny. Okay, the wires have been removed, and in this case, I believe we can keep the wireless card attached to the board since it's very small. Shouldn't be much of an issue at all. Now I'm going to flip the computer up on its normal side and go ahead and start snapping things apart since all the screws are out. First thing I'm going to do on this machine is pop the keyboard loose. On some computers, um, you have to take this part of the palm rest loose before you can do anything else. I'm going to detach the keyboard. 
by removing this ribbon cable. And while we're at, we're going to detach these lines here. And snap this back portion of the touchpad loose. But first, I'll go ahead and pull out this cable. Okay. <clears throat> Carefully snap it out. And set it to the side. <clears throat> now, let's see what we have next here. We're going to remove these screws up here. I believe these go to the display. So, while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and try to pull this display all the way back as far as it'll go. Well, actually, no, not in this case because it'll swing back as far as I'd like. We'll go ahead and start removing these screws. <clears throat> Which a decent thing about this computer is uh, most of the screws are the same size. We have big ones and we have real small ones. I've seen some computers that had three or four different sizes of screws. I'm talking about laptops anyway. <clears throat> Some can be very difficult to work with. This one here is fairly easy. Isn't it just amazing how much trouble you gotta go through just to change the cooling fan? Or for that matter, replace the CPU or anything like that. the display cable from its little guides here and be careful because there's a bunch of wires inside this cable and it won't mess it up in this case you should pull back some you pull up it really depends <clears throat> While holding the display, um, carefully try to start moving these wires. These go to your Wi Fi adapter. Those are the ones we removed earlier. Because on laptops, your Wi Fi antenna is inside the display, or in the lid, I should say. In this case, I'm going to flip it down, get these wires untangled. Or catching on something for some reason. Go ahead and unfeed them from their little guides. Okay, now this display should just come right out. Now we're going to set it to the side. Now we're going to pull this palm rest off the machine. Detach any remaining cables, such as the one that goes to the touchpad.
one thing to keep in mind is you need to, when you're working on laptops like this, it's good to take your time. I've seen videos where some people will just rush through it, and if you rush through it too fast, you can risk causing some serious damage to the computer. Desktops you can get away with by rushing, but with laptops you need to be very careful. Because they're extremely fragile. And this is why many repair companies will charge you more for laptop repairs than they will for desktop repairs. The thing about these palm wrists is that they're usually held in by snaps and you have to be very careful when you're pulling them loose so you don't break the plastic. And it does help to have a little bitty flat hand screwdriver to do this. We got two more screws hidden under here where the optical disk drive went. Just gonna pull those out. Seems like HP loves to do this. Same way on the DV6000. Pesky wire to remove. And pull it loose. Okay, now you get to see the motherboard inside this computer. And to get at this fan, let's see. We may not have to remove the motherboard. And unplug this wire. So far, it appears we have one screw that holds the fan in place. And the fan comes right out. This is the old fan. It still spins perfectly fine, but um, it rattles a lot, and it's on its way out. And it smells like it's in a um, in a smoking home. The owner must smoke cigarettes. And let me go and explain to you about um, computers being in, in environments where cigarettes are smoked. It seems like cigarette smoke increases the um, the failure rate of mechanical components in the computer, especially fans and that sort of stuff. Here's the new fan. 
This fan was ordered off of Amazon.com for around six dollars or something. And I think the shipping was probably about the same amount. So we're looking at about twelve to fifteen dollars total. And they give you this thing a thermal paste too. Which is really overkill for just one. You only really need it actually on this computer. So this is like a free gift to you. Because you don't really even need it. So anyways, um, we'll go ahead and install this new fan. Fan just sits right down in the place. And there's one screw that goes right here. I'm going to screw it back into place. Also, don't forget to plug in the power lead to the fan. And basically, from here on out, the process of putting the machine back together is basically in reverse order of how you take it apart. So anyways, any questions or comments, feel free to ask.